Alright, what's up Eagles fans? Tomorrow is finally the day, the NFC Championship game between our Philadelphia Eagles and the Minnesota Vikings. We'll trip the 50, Super Bowl 52 on the line. And our Eagles will win this game tomorrow and head on to Super, Super Bowl 52. I'm very confident they will. And uh, I'm just very confident, exciting, excited. Uh, I just can't wait till tomorrow night, man. I'm waiting so long for this game, this a season like this. Back in 04, we went to the Super Bowl. I was only three years old. Don't remember that season, not the game at all. And back in 08, I was like seven years old. I remember that game, the NFC title game. Uh, a little bit, but not much. But now, 16, I've been through a lot of Eagles games, the ups and downs. Uh, I've been through a lot. And now, this season, has been incredible. Obviously, the best season I've witnessed. Um, through uh, the miracles, the close games, the defensive stops at the end, the blowouts, just very enjoyable, great season. Uh, Howie Roseman bringing in all these guys, great moves. Uh, Doug Peterson, his coaching staff, excellent year. The players, week in and week out, grinding it out, uh, performing well each week. Even the two games they lost, they uh, didn't falter. They played tough those games. In years past, Eagles teams just would just falter. Uh, play hardly, miss tackles, just not look ready, prepared to play. This year, it's totally different. Doug Peterson has a great environment in that locker room, this team. And uh, I'm ready to see it, uh, keep moving on, keep winning, and uh, head on to Super Bowl. Now, one thing I want to address is these uh, Vikings fans. So last weekend, I posted a reaction to that game, the miracle by the Vikings. And uh, it's got a lot of views and comments, and they're mostly all from Vikings fans. And some pretty uh, hateful comments to call me like dumb. What am I thinking? Because after the game, I said the Eagles will win this game tomorrow night. Call me dumb. What am I thinking? Uh, Eagles are trash without Wentz. They can't win. Uh, they can't win in the cold, which is like they just beat the Falcons in the cold last weekend. And uh, saying fall sucks. Um, just like stuff like that. I mean, it's just like nonsensical stuff. And they have no reason behind it. They just say, oh. Without Wentz, you guys can't win, period. And they send it. It's like, what's, what else is your reason? The Eagles haven't lost a meaningful game without Carson Wentz yet. Nick Foles has come in there, doing what to do, and when he struggled, defense picked it up, and they won a game with a team. The whole team, I mean, the Eagles haven't just won 13 games a season without just, just with Carson Wentz. The whole team has played great with the offense, with the best O line in the uh, NFL. Great running uh, game. Receivers done an excellent job, tight ends, defense, secondary's played very well. Linebackers, obviously the D-line's uh, very nasty. And uh, this team, it's a great team, not just Carson Wentz. So these fans have like no room to talk. And then they said, oh, you only scored 15 points against the uh, Falcons. But we, we won the game, we managed the game well offensively. We did, did, we have, did what we had to do to win that game. And they only scored 40 points against the uh, Falcons, so I don't know what they're talking right there for. But uh, yeah, so uh, these Fal these Vikings fans, like, seeing on my that uh, video and Twitter, how like confident and cocky they are, it's like insane. They're coming to Philadelphia. People are talking about uh, invading Philly. There's no way. We have 70,000 very very loud uh, Philadelphia Eagles fans and plenty of others watching. This city is so fired up. We haven't had a year like this in a long, long time. And we haven't been this close in a long, long time. They don't know what they're in for. That's all I'm going to say is be ready because tomorrow night we're going to beat you so bad. We're going to be hosting that uh, NFC Championship trophy uh, on the field, on the financial field. And we're going to travel to your uh, home state, Minnesota, Minneapolis, for the Super Bowl in two weeks. I mean, so uh, yeah, man, we're winning this game tomorrow. Screw all the Vikings fans, so confident and cocky, just wait till tomorrow night, we smoke your butts, <coughs> and uh, I want to say like, I'm expecting a close game, I'm the battle, but like, the Falcons game last week, that could have been a blowout, because our defense played so good, offense played uh, pretty well, I think if like, the Vikings, they're going to expect the Eagles to try to run the ball, and short pass from Foles, but Doug has a great game plan. He's a great uh, play caller. I think he's been taking shots with the ball downfield. 
And B Grass, nothing to lose. We're the underdogs. I mean, no one's picking the Eagles to win. And uh, so, I mean, yeah, take some shots. Be aggressive. Like I said, that Falcons game, they went deep on the first play, got the pass interference call. I think if J.J. doesn't fumble the ball, Eagles probably score. And that could have been the start of a blowout if defense stopped them. So I think if the Eagles start fast tomorrow night, score early, play great defense early, the game could be a blowout. So, I mean, uh, that's, that's my thoughts. And I think Eagles are going to win this game. Should be a close game, but it could be a blowout anyway. Either way, Eagles will win this game, head on Super Bowl 52. So uh, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. As always, go Birds, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, see you tomorrow. Go Birds!